if I can make it across the country in the world's smallest car in under 36 hours. Skillshare has to pay for the car. I'm gonna drive across the fucking country? <laughs> in what kind of car? <laughs> It's a luxury vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Remember me, the guy who makes the, the videos on the internet? Well, over the past week, I haven't uploaded anything. As you can imagine, the couch series took it out of me. So I'm here, I've been at Tanner Fox's house for the last week, hanging out, having a good time, probably having too good of a time. But now it's time uh, to go home. And over the past month or so, I've been on so many flights filming the last series. So I thought to myself, what is the fastest way that I could get home without flying? Now there are these guys who do a thing called the cannonball race, where you drive across the country as fast as possible. The problem with this, you need a very nice car, you need a lot of money, and uh, if I go to prison for going hundreds of miles over the speed limit, I can't make videos like this. But I still wanna compete in this with a, with a small budget. For some reason, when I was thinking small budget, I thought uh, I can spend less money if I get a smaller car. So I started looking and I found out that this is the world's smallest car. Yeah, it's barely a car. It goes like 28 miles an hour. You cannot take that on the highway. It's not legal. But the second smallest car that is fully legal is the Smart for two. I found some from three to $4,000 and I thought that, that, that could work. And of course, I have to increase the stakes. So I called up Skillshare and I explained the idea to them and made this deal. If I can make it across the country in the world's smallest car in under 36 hours, Skillshare has to pay for the car. If it's over 36 hours, literally in a minute over, I have to pay for the car. And after carefully examining my offer, they said, uh, we're down. So the goal is to find a world's smallest car near me, buy it somehow, race it across America in 36 hours, and win the bet with Skillshare. And then I have a free smart car, which we can do whatever we want with. You just put it in the comments, and we'll do it. In order to do this in 36 hours, I'm gonna need a partner in crime. And for me, a tall guy, this trip is not gonna be comfortable. So I needed to find somebody who is going to be equally uncomfortable. And the first person I thought of is my friend Garrett. He's about 6'6". Garrett is a person who really values comfort and nice things. So instead of telling him that we're doing this in a smart car, I'm gonna tell him that we're doing this in a limousine. That is so bad. I just, I feel like that's the only way to get him here. So let's, um, let's FaceTime Garrett. Hey bud. Hey, I am, uh, I'm over here in uh, California. So I have this idea to drive across America. Okay. So I'm gonna be driving a limousine. Across all of America. Am I gonna get to sit in the back and like chill? <laughs> I kind of hate it. Yeah. When are we gonna do this? I'm thinking like, Tomorrow? Really? Yeah. <sighs> I'll book my flight right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, we're, I think we literally are gonna start in like 18 hours. <laughs> dude, all right, dude, see ya. All right, bye. Dude, he's gonna be so mad at me when it's not a freaking limousine. And so I spent the entire rest of the day searching the World Wide Web for the world's smallest car. I'm here, I have bedhead. And Eric said he wants to do what? I'm gonna drive across the fucking country? <laughs> in what kind of car? <laughs> Bro, why? Where does this come from? I've never in my life been even close to a smart car. So I've got three here in the mix. Okay. One is in Phoenix. It looks sick, dude. But the problem with Arizona is in- Yeah, you're yeah, you're kind of cheating it. You're kind of cheating it. I don't want to cheat this. Tell this guy 2800, you'll pick it up today. 2800 in an Arak hoodie. His name's Terrell. I don't know if I have any that will fit clothing that will fit Terrell. Terrell. Terrell's huge! <laughs> Why does that guy own a smart car? That's what I'm saying, dude. What is he doing being a security guard with a smart car? That's what I'm saying, bro. He's, He's like, like, no, like, I can't do 2800. <laughs> I can only do 3000. And bro, you're really about to do this. Finally, I found this one just an hour away. My guy. Off on the mission, man. Much fucking love. Yeah, this fool's about to go drive <laughs> across the United States. Right now? In a smart car. If you drive a smart car, you're baller. You're a baller. Hey, don't get too many ladies with that smart car, bro. You better- I'll try hey, not to. You better put up a sign because I have hard. a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and so I grabbed my one and a half hour Uber ride all the way to Long Beach. And in the meantime, I had a friend grab some cash. <laughs> Say no more. 2,900 hand in hand. And finally, there she was. Look at this thing. Uh, did you know that you own, this is the world's smallest fully street legal car? Is it really? Yeah. Now I do. Why, so wait, why does it have Mercedes logos on it? It's a luxury vehicle. <laughs> the idea is to drive this all the way to Atlanta. Okay. What do you think? Okay, tell me what we've got. Gear shift here. It's an automatic paddle shifters yeah. up here. Hatch. What? And like clockwork, Sean showed up with the money. People are going to look by and they're just going to see like the top of the car. Yeah. And then heads. Yeah. A couple <laughs> <feet> more. <laughs> the seats could be a little bit more cushy. This but is the sport edition. The it's sport. Not, uh, it's built for speed. It's built for speed. <laughs> I think after touring the car, I feel very good about it. I think I'm going to take it. $2,900 in cash. You feel fresh off the press. You sure these are real? Uh, Imagine <laughs> I give him Monopoly money. I'm not sure if you realize by accepting that cash, you just sold me what will be the most 
most famous smart car on the planet. They're literally documenting this moment because this is going to be an iconic moment on the internet. We're gonna look back on this clip and laugh like this. <laughs> I don't know if I can laugh like that, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah, bro. So there we were, downtown LA with the most beautiful tiny car you've ever seen. Sure, there was some grime, but what car doesn't have that? And all we had left to do was pick up Garrett from the airport. Okay, so we are at the airport picking up Garrett. Again, he thinks that I'm picking him up in a limousine. <laughs> here he comes, here he comes. Uh, where's the limo? <laughs> yeah. Just seriously, where's the limo? Yeah, it was the only way. You would not have come if I told you that it was a it was the smallest car in the world. No, <laughs> this isn't street legal. It's, I promise it is. Text me when you get back to Atlanta. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna have fun in this. This is gonna be fun. Take me to a liquor store. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, shut roof. <laughs> we look so big in this thing. I have a question for you. Yes. What do you think weighs more, this car or me? <laughs> like, dude, our heads like kind of stick out of the top. 100%. And it was time to go to the start line. So we're going to go to the beach, uh, touch the water, and then come back to the car just to make sure that we are not cheating this in any way, shape, or form. Okay, we are at Dockweiler State Beach. Touch the water real quick. Okay, oh! Not that close. Not that close. <laughs> and we were off. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and we just started driving. We are three hours in, four hours in. And driving. Stop number three. It's four in the morning. We are starting to see the morning light on the horizon. We in Arizona? Yeah. Arizona. Next stop. Let me get some sleep yeah. and I'll, I'll be funnier in a second. <laughs> <laughs> and driving all the way into the morning light. Coffee. All right, it's officially day two. Time for another day on the road, baby. <laughs> We've got 1,600 miles left to go, as my older cousin Little Pump would say. Escada! <laughs> Make sure I never say that again, okay? <laughs> and we continued until our convertible top literally started falling apart. How was it making that much noise? So like any highly trained mechanic, we duct taped it. <laughs> That'll do her. I think, I mean, while we're at it, we do a little customizing, maybe? Oh, man. Nice. So we are like 14 hours-ish into this journey. We've resorted to some of the darkest things I've ever done in my entire life. Uh, earlier I got a caught up on my TikTok dances, I never learned those. Yeah, I'm not proud of that. The wipers are permanently stuck on. The AC is not working so it's hot. The rooftop piece, not really working great either. But hey, it's mine. <laughs> so we decided it was time for some overhaul, starting with this charger thing and a phone holder. We even spent 30 minutes attempting to fix the AC. Oh! <laughs> That's cold, bro. I even found a pin that controls the wipers and stopped those completely. No more wipers. Basically, we just single-handedly repaired our entire car, and we made our way into Texas, where we had to do some Texas things. You're very welcome. I found this. I have to have this. You can give it to your mom when you're done. <laughs> now that's Texas. And after taking some pictures for some moms for their kids, I think, uh, I decided to do the most Texas thing I could think of. All right, the sun's about to set, and we're gonna get what you guys have all been waiting for. The creamy, crispy, drone shots, baby! Drone shots, baby! Spicy content coming your way. <laughs> I should cut to drone shot. The freaking top down? Yeah, this is crazy. Woo! Yeah, Let's go. Come on. Don't drive the wind. Woo! Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that. If you're not subscribed and you just saw that quality, hit the sub freaking subscribe button, dude. The goal of this channel is to prove that in 2020, you can still make it as a creator on YouTube. In January, I started at 1,500 subscribers and now we're at whatever we're at now. So become part of the movement and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this every week. Okay, back to the open road. And the journey continued. 2 a.m. I'm ready for you to drive. <laughs> oh, dude. I will get this car for free. I will get this car for free until this happened. Oh my gosh. 
That is disgusting. We're flying down the highway and we hit a freaking dead deer in the middle of the road. Ew, dude. And a few hours later, I decided to give the full breakdown. It's been hours now, but I still can't get over this. I'm, it's literally four in the morning. I'm driving down the road. You're sleeping. I'm fast asleep. We were in the fast lane moving at about 70 miles an hour when all of a sudden we saw a dead deer in the middle of the road. And with no time to react, three, two, one, hit the deer. This car jumps the deer. We go midair. We come back down. The car starts swerving 70 miles an hour. I death grip the steering wheel like this. Ride it out. I look backwards. The deer is rolling in the road. <laughs> I'm sleeping. And the entire underside of this car is now destroyed. The car smells like freaking ground oh. beef. And with only a few hours left, we were on the final trek. That, that is our last <laughs> stop for gas. Oh, it feels good to say that, bro. Uh, oh, I got some of the deer blood on me. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, we're five minutes out. The expected arrival time is 12.15, which gives us literally 15 minutes before the 36 hour cutoff. So if everything goes well in the next five minutes, we will have made it and gotten this car for free by literally 15 minutes. Ah. Congrats. Oh, it smells in here. Oh yeah. Ew. Your mom. <laughs> Hey, babe. How are we doing? What's the I'm honestly very surprised. We ran this thing for a day and a half straight. Uh, we ran over a deer. This is all dead deer all over it. That's, that's it. why it smells like that? Yes. <laughs> it actually smells. It's actually dead deer. There's blood all over it. Yeah, it, I'm not joking. That's not blood. Yes, that's it, oh, 100% is blood. That's disgusting. I hate that. <laughs> Uh, well, we, we completed the challenge in the 36 hours. So uh, Skillshare, thanks for the new car. By the way, speaking of Skillshare, I'm gonna pass it back to uh, Pastor Eric real quick. Pastor Eric, take it away. Oh, hey, future Eric, how's it going, man? I just wanted to take a second to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't already know, Skillshare, thanks, man. If you guys don't already know, Skillshare is a learning platform for people like us. Lifetime learners, people who are looking to push themselves, Skillshare, uh, it's for you. I get a lot of questions about what equipment I use and what editing I use, and I've actually used Skillshare personally a lot. Even like before YouTube to learn how to make thumbnails, I actually use this exact course to learn more about Photoshop and what catches the eye on YouTube. And I've also used a lot of the Premiere Pro courses, which are good from anybody who's expert level all the way down to beginner. And now as you guys get to see in the videos, over the last few years, I've gotten pretty good at that stuff using Skillshare. There are so many freaking courses on this site for any level, for any experience level, in literally any facet of anything you could dream up. My personal favorite part about it is they've made it dumb affordable. They literally have options as low as $10 annually. So if you're here for the mission of this channel, which is making 2020 the year, whatever that is for you, you can use my link to download Skillshare and the first 500 people to sign up will get two free months of premium. I literally used this exact same offer when I was first starting YouTube. And here we are about a year later actually doing YouTube. So seriously, use the link in the description and thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Back to you, future Eric. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Wow, that was nice, Pastor Eric, thanks so much. Uh, well, we completed it. We have a smart car now. You guys let us know what you wanna do with it. Maybe we auction it off. Maybe we mod it out, like put a lift kit on it. Oh, wow. That's right? Good. Top comment, let me just, let us know what you want. You let us know what you want us to do in the, uh, in, the in the comment section. Eric's tired. You did really good, my man. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, yeah, Thanks, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. I need to go to sleep permanently, uh, and that's pretty much it. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Hasta luego.